Hi Cleo, how are you? So I was checking your writing, so it was really good. In this case, we just need to be careful with some things. This actually plan, you need to have a lot of information, as much as possible, because this is going to help you to know what you're going to write in your story. So if you have more details, it's going to be better, okay? So over here, you, you were writing very clearly and it was neat. You were using paragraph, as you can see, you were using over here, you were living in space to divide the events. Now, some things that we have to be careful uh, over here, Simon went to Japan to teach English to the Japanese people. So you, actually you don't need this, the to Japanese people, you don't really need it. So, because it's already implied that he went to Japan for that. He, Simon was teaching to the students. Japanese people know it's better just to specify what type of people they're like to the students or to the teachers or to a certain group. And be careful with some missing words and capitalization over here. Remember, after full stop, we need big, big letters. And then over here, be careful also with the pronouns, okay? So you are referring to they instead of we in the story. So the good things that you had in your story was that you used the theme from the book, you used past tense correctly, which is really good also because you were able to finish your first draft. So you were able to manage and change some of the mistakes before you incorporated vocabulary from the book, which is really good, and you divided the events into paragraphs. Now, some things that you have to be careful of for next time is try to give more details. So if you explain, if you use more adjectives or more description, then it will, you will have a longer story. And again, be careful with the pronouns, right? We always have to stick, to, if you're talking about people, so you need to use they, their, them okay so let's keep on reminding these for next time and then so we can improve it so good job